Tis the season, everyone. Let's suffer through a new Mountain Dew flavor. Gingerbread Snapped. And a couple of other sodas that I got from Crackle Barrel this weekend. Also, like the hat? This is our next episode of Soda Chat, guys. Tis the season. So I found this little beauty at our local uh, grocery store, the Ginger Snapped one. And I was actually just going to do a small little short video soda chat just doing this one because I know, yeah, I am not a fan of gingerbread whatsoever. But I went to Kissimmee on my, uh, the remaining days of my vacation and I picked up these little guys. The Butterscotch Beer, which is probably not a licensed Harry Potter product, but should be interesting. A Whirly Pop and a, a late one. So, yeah, these three were picked up at Crackle Barrel. Uh, these were probably the best looking ones that they had there. I had never seen these at the one that I'm that I, uh, in our uh, Gainesville location. But let's go ahead and give it a try. So we're going to save this one for last. We always save the really unique ones for last. So, uh, all right. So let's start off with the uh, Whirly Pop one. So Whirly Pop. Eh, not bad. I mean, it's got like the old timey lollipop on them. It is a rainbow fruit punch, your favorite whirly pop in a bottle. And that's pretty much it, guys. There's nothing else on here. Oh, you know, please recycle. You know, hey, my local uh, recycling center doesn't do glass. Just gotta maybe I'll put it in a box like I always do, you know. And uh, we actually have a. I guess this is a company named Adams and Brooks Incorporated, and they got their address. I know we don't really take a close look at some of these bottles. I kind of regret that in the past, but you know, there, this one is just pretty plain. There's just nothing else on here. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, let's give it a try. All right. Good carbonation going. Not smelling anything from this distance, but ooh, very raspberry um, scent to it. It's not overpowering. Does this remind me of a Whirly Pop? Maybe. I mean, it's got a good color to it. I mean, it's blue. I mean, I guess it's what happens if you uh, pulverize all these together. Well, let's give it a try. Ooh. I like it. It's got a very intense sweetness to it. There's some citrus flavors, but I'm really only getting raspberry. Uh, yeah, actually, I do really like this one. I'd actually get this one again if they had it at our Crocker Barrel. Uh, I don't remember seeing any of this one on any of the uh, Beverage Direct or the Soda Emporium, so this might be this one that they got maybe from a different catalog or something. It's kind of like how Scaffs had carried, my, uh, our local gas, our, uh, grocery store had carried the Flathead sodas for a while, so it might have just been a shipment that they just got on a whim, but... Oh yeah, I really like this one. Is it a mixer? You could probably mix some vodka in this one. But I think alone, this one just stands out. I, I, I really like this one. This one probably tops some of the ones I've had in the past. So, Adams and Brooks, I think you got a hit here. All right, let's move on to the next one. And moving on to the butter scotch beer for all ages. So... If you're a fan of Harry Potter like I am, not so much these days with me. I've moved on. I was a huge one, a uh, huge fan back in uh, high school and uh, college. But I've really always wanted to try butter beer, and this is just butter scotch beer. And nowhere on here has it any type of indication that this is a licensed product from the Harry Potter franchise series what have you and I don't think that 
this is licensed, magical foods and drinks approved by the ministry approved by the Ministry of Foods and Drinks. I would actually make that a little bit lighter. It's kind of hard to see that. Non-alcoholic, of course. They had um this one, and they also had a like I think like a smaller version at the Cracker Barrel I was at, but never had it before. Contains milk. Interesting, a milky soda. All right, well, let's do this, guys. Okay. All right. Mmm, yum, butterscotch. Or... This would actually, it, it, it kind of reminds me of one of the root beers that I used to have. Um, it, its color is definitely not root beer. It's very light. All right, bottoms up. All right. Um, hey, I get two for two. This is... um. This is really good. It's, it's hard to describe. Yes, it tastes like butterscotch, but it's not like overkill butterscotch. I'm not really a fan of butterscotch. Um, it's caramel. It's like if you if you mix caramel root beer and butterscotch all together. Yeah, I mean it's just that good. I I really can't. I can't fault this one. I mean, I think that, you know, the label itself is very bland, not licensed. Uh, I'm very convinced of that, but this is really good. I would actually get this one again. I would not think this is a mixer. I, I can't think of a brandy, whiskey, cognac. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't mess with this. This is perfect the way that it is. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm loving that both of these sodas that I've had so far do not have an aftertaste. It's it's just good. Well, um, well, well done. Let's move on to the next one. And our next one is going to be the all uh, a late one. Uh, this one really stood out to me because it's just it's ginger ale. I don't think we've ever done a ginger ale yet on on Soda Chat. And just if you didn't have this here, it just looks like. AL81, but it's a late one. The original 1926. Eh, I don't know about that. And let's see, we've got crisp, clean ginger for bracing pep. A hint of citrus with that. Wow. Oh, wow. We got a blurb here. Let's see what we got. In, let's see, the best of the bluegrass in green glass. That's cute. So in 1926, my great great grand, my great great uncle Lee introduced a ginger and citrus soft drink like no other at the Clark County Fair. From that day on, the indescribable taste of this bluegrass favorite would be known as a late one, or the latest thing four generations later. I still blend the secret recipe from Uncle Lee's handwritten notes. Open one yourself and taste the tradition. Fielding Rogers, fourth generation owner. Well, I mean that's that's interesting. All right, well, um, let's go ahead and give it a taste. I mean, I'm a fan of ginger ale, so uh, let's see if this holds up to expectations. About the same color as the uh, butterscotch one. Yep, just smells like ginger ale to me. Does it smell like real ginger? Mm, not really, but. Hmm. Well, I don't think we're gonna get three for three. This is actually pretty weak. Um, this just tastes like flat ginger ale. Like if you watered down like a, a Schweppes or something, it, it's not that. Yeah, I'm not getting anything. It's just, 
it's just lackluster and it's not very appetizing either it, it's it's i don't like it i mean if this i mean he he really tried to sell you it on the on the blurb back here but this is this is just not good i, I i'm sorry a late one um i'd really kind of modify that recipe maybe some people really like it it's not strong it's fake ginger i i, I don't like it so uh, definitely not one that i would get again guys so well let's get to the moment you've all been waiting for and at last we come to the one we all that i always wait for at the end our mountain dew ginger snapped and yeah i'm not a fan of gingerbread uh, i'm not looking forward to this I will say that the illustrations on this one are just hilarious. I, I Gingerbread with a mohawk, evil looking one with a snowball. And you got the little cute one right here that's about to die. I, 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 I really love that. A blast of artificial gingerbread flavor. Oh, great. And they went out for this one. They just have the ugly brown color here. <laughs> Ginger snapped, and they had to have it again. Gingerbread snapped. All right, well, that's enough torturing myself. Let's let's get this over with. I, I I don't I don't think this one bodes well for my favorites. I mean, I've had this in my refrigerator for like three weeks, guys. Like I said, I wanted to do this one as a solo, but uh, all right, Mountain Dew gingerbread snapped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that smells like gingerbread. <sighs> well, it doesn't smell horrid like I thought it was going to be. I don't know why they use the same color as the as the voodoo, but, you know, it's like that Airheads mystery flavor color. So let's 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 just do this. Well, for something that's supposed to be a blast of gingerbread flavor, only my nose is getting the scent. I, it is, it is, it is bland. There, there's absolutely no flavor in this, and and it's a second try. Yeah, it, it, there's no flavor in this, which is actually kind of strange. I don't, I don't hate it. I actually hate the smell more. This is just a neutral Mountain Dew. I, I, I think they failed in their department on this one. I, I really don't have anything else to say about this. There's no, I, I can't give you a flavor from this. So, um, I think that the worst one so far has just been the ginger ale one. This one is just. I don't know. I, I, I don't know why they would come up with this concept and not punch you in the face with gingerbread. Well, guys, that, that's it. Let's get to our rating system. I, I, I really have nothing else to say about this one. <laughs> Whirly Pop Soda. I kind of wish there was more on the bottle other than the giant lollipop. But, you know, other... It's fine. Five. The aroma, raspberries, what else can you do with this? I mean, if it says rainbow fruit punch, that's, I guess raspberry kind of dominates your senses overall. Six. The taste definitely would get one of these again. I would actually stock up on these if I can find them. And I have not been able to find these other than at Crackle Barrel. So, I mean, if you have a Crackle Barrel near you and you see these really pop sodas, definitely get it. Ten. Overall, seven. No complaints here. Premium butterscotch beer. So the font on the bottle really is reminiscent for me of Harry Potter. Like I said, I was a huge fan of it growing up. There's some coloring on the bottle with the lighter areas that need to be a darker color so you can see what they say. Even in this camera angle, I can barely even read it, even with my glasses on. Six. The aroma. Is it root beer? Is it not? So, I'm kind of in the middle on this one, five. The taste, I actually did enjoy it, and I would definitely get one of these again. Even though it's not a licensed Harry Potter product, I have no complaints with this one, nine. Overall, six.
a late one. So this one I really wanted to be good. And unfortunately, only the the name of it really got a high score, being Ale 8 and 1. I think that was really cute. Other than that, the rest of the blurbs on the bottle kind of promoting this as this high brand, great tasting ginger ale just fell flat 5. The aroma, if it's a ginger ale, I wanted to punch me in the face, and it didn't. For taste... Not, not really, guys. I've actually had some bad ginger ales before. This one is probably the worst that I've had. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Three. Overall, four. And as for the Mountain Dew Ginger Snapped. All right, your design, Mountain Dew, I'm going to give you a full nine on this one because it is absolutely adorable. Now, maybe next year if you guys do this one, I don't see why. But have the gingerbread, like, torn apart or something. That, that would really make my day. The aroma... Ew, whoa, yeah, the the gingerbread is heavy, and which is what you want. If you're going to promote a brand that's gingerbread soda, you want it to smell like that seven. The taste, neutral. I, I did not get any type of flavoring. It's just a very neutral-based soda that I really didn't enjoy, three. Overall, six. Well, guys, that's it. I really wanted this to be out before Christmas, but it'll be a New Year's video. And I will be back next time for the next Soda Chat, and we'll see what else I'm going to put myself through. Happy New Year, guys.